Hi, St. Edward's friends. Happy Thursday. Today, I'm going to read a book that's all about matter because we have been studying matter in the classroom. We have had an experiment on the science shelf, which many of you have had a presentation on. And today we're going to read a little bit more about it. And I'm going to send a few experiments home to your parents so that maybe you'll be able to do some experiments at home with matter. Okay, the book is called What is the World Made Of? All about solids, liquids and gases. And it's by Kathleen Wiedner Zofeld and it's illustrated by Paul Meisel. I'm not going to read every page. I'm going to read some of it because this is a really long book. Okay. Have you ever seen anyone walk through a wall? Did you ever drink a glass of blocks? Have you ever played with a lemonade doll or put on milk for socks? Walls and blocks, dolls and socks, milk and lemonade, rocks and trees, all of these things are made of matter. The air in the breeze that blows the leaves, water flowing in the creek, everything on earth is made of matter. Lucky for us, it's easy to tell that not all matter is alike. Matter comes in three states. It can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Walls and blocks and socks are solids. Milk and lemonade and water are liquids. And the air you breathe is gas. Some solids are hard and some are soft, but all solids hold their shape unless you do something to change them. A wooden block is hard. You can push it and pull it and squeeze it. It will always stay squared. If your baby brother pounds it with his toy truck, it may chip or break, but then the broken pieces will hold their shapes. Modeling clay is soft. You can roll it out flat like a pancake or squeeze it into a ball. You can cut it with a knife or scissors, but if you leave it alone, it will hold whatever shape it is in. It is a solid. Liquids have no shapes. You pour a glass of milk for your little sister and the milk takes on the shape of the glass. If she knocks it over, the milk spreads out on the tabletop. It flows over the edge like a waterfall. It drips and spatters on the floor. Milk is not round or square. It has no shape at all. Liquids can be thick like a milkshake or thin like water. They can feel slippery like cooking oil or sticky like maple syrup. But all liquids can be poured and all liquids take on the shape of whatever they are in. Gases have no shape either. Like air, most gases are invisible. You cannot see them, but you can feel them. Hold out your arms and spin. You can feel the air move against your skin. Air fills up all the space around you. All matter, everything on earth, is either lit, solid, liquid or gas. Water changes its state easily as it gets warmer or colder, but most things stay in one state or another. Solids stay solid, liquids stay liquid and gases stay gaseous. And it's a good thing they do. Can you imagine a world where your toys melt when they get too hot? Where the walls of your house turn into a hazy gas and animals just walk in and out as they please. A place where on cold days you have to swim through the air and where everything you'd like to drink is hard as a block. What a crazy world it would be.
And that is the end of what is the world made of. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.